In this video, we'll learn how to construct matrices from their elements. Here's a problem. Construct a 2 by 2 matrix A whose elements are given by Aij equals to i plus j square divided by 2. So let's break this down. Let's see what it means. This says A equals to, and this is how we write matrices. It says the elements of A are Aij, where Aij is the element for ith row and jth column i stands for row and j stands for column. So we have a formula which we can use to get these elements. If you plug in the value of i and j here, we'll get the element which is in ith row and jth column. Let's look at an example. If you plug in 1 and 1, we'll get the first row and first column. So that's our first element, a11. That's going to be equal to 1 plus 1. You replace i by 1 and j by 1. So 1 plus 1 square divided by 2. That's 2 square by 2, that's 4 by 2, that's 2. So what this formula is saying is that your first row and first column, this element, is going to be equal to 2. So pause the video, try figuring out the rest of the elements. Okay, let's find them together. A, 1, 2, let's plug in i equals to 1 and j equals to 2. So this gives us 1 plus 2 square divided by 2. That's 3 square 9 divided by 2, that's 4.5. So the next element in this first row, A11 is the first element of first row, A12 is the second element of first row, that's 4.5. And with this, we're done with row 1, we'll move to row 2. We can't put in J equals to 3 because this is a 2 by 2 matrix. So this time we'll put I equals to 2 and J equals to 1. So we'll get A21, the first element of the second row. So this is 2 plus 1 square by 2, that's 9 by 2, that's again 4.5. And finally, we'll have A22. This is the second element of the second row. That's 2 plus 2 square divided by 2. So 4 square is 16 by 2. That's 8. So now we have all these elements and we can make our matrix. We'll have 2, 4.5. That's the first row. And then 4.5 and 8. That's the second row. So 2, 4.5, 4.5 and 8. This is our 2 by 2 matrix. Let's try one more. Construct a 2 by 2 matrix A whose elements are given by aij equals to i by j. This time the formula is saying that if you want the element in ith row and jth column, just divide i by j. So pause the video, try this out. Okay, so what's a11? This is 1 by 1, replace i by 1 and j by 1, so that's going to be 1. What's a12? That's 1 by 2. a21, that's 2 by 1. And a22, that's 2 by 2. So this becomes 1, half, 2, and 1. So this is our matrix, 1, half, 2, and 1. Let's try one more. Construct a 3 by 4 matrix A whose elements are given by Aij equals to 2i minus j. Pause the video, try this out. For this matrix, we'll have 3 times 4, that's 12 elements. Okay, pause the video, try this out. All right, let's do them together. A11, that's 2 times 1 minus 1, that's 2 minus 1, that's 1. A12, 2 minus 2, that's 0. A13, 2 minus 3, that's minus 1. And A14, that's 2 minus 4, that's minus 2. So these are the elements of our first row. Let's find the second row. A21, that's 4 minus 1, 3. A22, 4 minus 2. That's 2, A23, 4 minus 3, that's 1, and A24, that's 4 minus 4, that's 0. Finally, the last row, A31, that's 6 minus 1, 5, A32, 6 minus 2, 4, A33, 6 minus 3, 3, and finally, A34, the last element, which is in the last row and last column, that's 6 minus 4, that's 2. So now we have all these 12 elements, let's put them in the matrix. So Aij, if it's 2i minus j, the matrix becomes 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, 3, 2, 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, 0, 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 2. So that's our answer. Now before we move on, let's pause and build some intuition about the properties of matrices. We'll discuss them in the next few videos, but it's always good to have a solid intuition from the get-go. So let's think about this problem like this. Another way to solve this 
would be to find a different matrix, a simpler matrix. What if this formula was not 2i minus j, what if it was just 2i? What would the matrix look like? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, so if the formula is just 2i, this means that you take the row number and multiply it by 2. That's your element. It does not depend on the column number. This is just 2i, there is no j here. So the matrix would look like this. The first row would have double of 1 is 2, all elements is 2, 2, 2 and 2. Next row has i equals to 2, double of that is 4, so 4, 4, 4, 4. And third row has i equals to 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, so 6, 6, 6 and 6. So this is how the matrix would look like. So this is 2i. And what if the formula was just j? We want to find 2i minus j. So what would a matrix look like if the formula was this? aij equals to just j. There's no i here. Again, pause the video, think about it. Okay. So this is saying that your element only depends on your column number. So put down the column number, that's your element. So this is first column, so 1, 1, 1, second column, 2, 2, 2, third column, 3, 3, 3, and fourth column, 4, 4, 4. So this is your matrix, aij equals to j. Now, if you have to subtract 2i minus j, you can subtract individual elements, the corresponding elements from both of these matrices. Let's have a look. If you subtract corresponding elements of this matrix from this matrix, this is what you'll get. So this minus this should give you this. Let's check. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So this works. 4s minus 1, 2, 3, 4 should give you 3, 2, 1 and 0. This also works. 6 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. So this gives you 6 minus 1 is 5. 4, 3, and 2. So we're doing the same calculations, but I think this method is more classier. Let's try one last problem. Construct a 3 by 4 matrix A, whose elements are given by Aij equals to half of mod of minus 3i plus j. Pause the video. Try this on your own. Okay, so I'll use this method. I'll first find, I'll break this formula down, I'll simplify it. I'll first find a matrix which is given by aij equals to minus 3i, just this part. So what I'm doing is I'm multiplying the row number by minus 3. So I'll get minus 3 and then double of that minus 6 and then triple of that minus 9. So this is my matrix which is given by aij equals to minus 3i. Then we have j. So aij equals to j. This is just the column number. So I'll have 1s, 2s, 3s and 4s, exactly like this. And now I have to add these two minus 3i plus j. So the next matrix that I'll build is minus 3i plus j. So I'll add corresponding elements of this matrix with corresponding elements of this matrix. So let's do that. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. This is minus 1. Minus 3 plus 3 becomes 0. Minus 3 plus 4 becomes plus 1. So minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 1. Next we have minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. Then we have minus 9. And because this is increasing by 1, this is minus 9 plus 1, that's minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5. So this is my minus 3i plus j matrix. Now I have to take the mod, which means we'll get rid of all of these negative signs. So mod of minus 3i plus j will give us something like this. 2, 1, 0, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 8, 7, 6, and 5. And finally, we'll half these values. We need half of this. So our final matrix would look something like this, half of all of these numbers, half of 2 is 1, half, 0, half, 2.5, 2, 1.5, 1, 4, 3.5, 3, and 2.5. So this is our answer. This is our 3 by 4 matrix, which is given by aij equals to half mod of minus 3i plus j.